key voice that must be heard from today is that of the Palestinians. And of course, the move of the U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem led to a complete break but in any kind of dialogue between the Palestinian Authority and the Trump administration. Let's go now to Ramallah and speak to Nidal Fukaha. He is the head of the Palestinian Peace Coalition and a former advisor to the PLO chairman, Yasser Arafat. And Nidal, it's been one year. Only one other country followed the U.S. Uh, to moving their embassy to Jerusalem. But we don't see other Arab states, for example, censoring the U.S. in any serious way because of the move. How do you assess the diplomatic response of the Palestinians over the past year to this move? Well, good evening, first, and thank you so much. Uh, actually, this is a very uh, sensitive issue, the issue of uh, moving the embassy, actually, to uh, Jerusalem. Uh, I, I don't agree, actually, on the fact that whether the Arabs are not uh, really censoring because there are very strong Arab interests in Jerusalem, specifically for Jordan. But actually, when we talk about the Arab world, uh, there is no uh, single Arab leader who could even uh, be uh, tolerant when it comes to the Arab and Palestinian rights in Jerusalem. On, on the Palestinian uh, reaction or even uh, measures taken, we all know that during the last year, uh, the 2018 and the first half or the first quarter of the 2019, it witnessed a different type of relationship between the Palestinian leadership and the American administration. And probably I can say it's unfortunately, but this is a natural response from the Palestinians when it comes to their insistence that Jerusalem should be part of uh, the game when it comes to negotiations. So the Palestinians decided to stop all kinds of political contacts with the American administration. We all know that we are talking about uh, an ultimate solution for this conflict. And any solution, whatever formula we think about, if we really want to reach a solution, then it is the two-state solution. And when we talk about the two-state solution, definitely Jerusalem is in the heart, because uh, there is no even the least willingness among the Palestinians to have a state without East Jerusalem being in the heart of the state, being the capital of the state. Unfortunately, the American decision, first of all, in the recognition, and then on moving the embassy tries in a way or another to eliminate uh, the issue of Jerusalem from uh, the table, which uh, rendered the whole Middle East peace process actually null and void within such uh, conditions or situation.